Included in that public safety bill is a bill named after Waseca police officer Eric Metzen. Now, this bill is designed to strengthen state criminal penalties for people convicted of assaulting a police officer or a prosecutor or a judge or a correctional employee. ABC 6 News reporter Devin Martin is here with us tonight in the studio to show us what this means for the Matson family. <laughs> Devin. Russell, Laura, that's right. I spoke to Megan Matson, Eric's wife, and they are feeling so many different emotions today, but all good ones. And she told me no matter the challenges of getting this bill passed, she's optimistic about the future. And now I want to show you something. What you'll see is Officer Eric Matson being honored for her service on the House floor and hear from his wife. Once he figured out like what was happening, he just had a smile from like ear to ear. And I'm like, babe, your bill passed. Like it's here. And he's like, yes. Like he was super excited. This smile means the world to Officer Matson's wife, Megan. After Eric was shot in January of last year, her husband has been fighting to recover. And she knew something had to be done. So she reached out to the Waseca County attorney, Rachel Cornelius. Rachel and I, after finding out about the sentencing guidelines, we seen that there needed to be a change. And Rachel was motivated to help right away. Um, when we were talking about what penalties we could get, the maximum was 20 years for one officer. And that just didn't, didn't seem enough. Nice thing is we have some different tools um, for the you know great bodily harm um, whether you assault a police officer whether you commit great bodily harm and then if you commit great bodily harm with a dangerous weapon but rachel and megan were not alone they had representative john petersburg in their corner and for him this fight's personal i think we owe them a certain amount of extra protection uh, to uh, to be able to keep them safe coming home to their families day in and day in, day out uh, i have a brother-in-law who or retired from a, as a sergeant in the police force down in Phoenix. And I know the challenges that, that can occur. And after last night's debates, this is now the Eric Matson bill included in the state's public safety bill. But the real takeaway from this. But what we can do is try to take a really bad incident, make it into something really great. I want you to remember this, seeing Officer Matson smiling with his family, knowing their hard work has indeed paid off. And they're looking forward towards the future with hope, now more than ever. And now Megan told me Eric is recovering well. He's going to therapy in Mankato two to three times a week. And she says that she's grateful for all of the community and lawmaker support to get this bill passed in both chambers. Ross and Laura.